Not really the way I wanted to start the video. This day was a bit of a disaster and a success story all at the same time. We went out there to locate this wreck. I had four sets of numbers which I had from research. Didn't work, could not find the wreck. We motored around quite a lot. Mark stumbled across something, but we thought, no, that's nothing. I marked it anyway. We then called Luggy and said to Luggy, can't locate this wreck. Have you got any numbers I could have, please? He gave us numbers in good faith, but we didn't know at the time. His sonar is different to my sonar. His numbers are not the same as mine. So the numbers he gave me was not on the wreck either. So I said to Mark in the end, right, we've had enough of this. We've been searching for nearly four hours now. We are not going to find it. So let's just head in. We're going to try for some mackerel or something and just go home. Went back to what Mark found after another quick look. As we was coming towards it, bang, up come the wreck. I couldn't believe it. Neither could Mark. We was like, this is it. This is the wreck. So, that is the story. So we fished it. We fished it. We did catch some nice fish. We caught quite a few. The wind started picking up. It got really bad out there. So, sort of forgot about the cameras and we got into safety. So there isn't an ending to the video. This is what this intro is about. Anyway, I'm gonna stop waffling. I'm gonna let you get into the video and I hope you enjoy it. There will be another video of this later in the year. We'll get some nice weather. We'll get back out there and I'll do a proper full video on it. Right then, I'll let you get into it. trying to fish a wreck on my little boat. Sounds crazy because most wrecks are offshore but we found one that's near the shore so it's safe for me to be out on the boat. We've drifted it, we've found it, we're coming over it right now so I'm going to spin the camera around and show it you on the sonar so you know what to expect. As you can see on this side here, this is down scan imaging, once it loads now, this is actually the wreck right here popping up. The depth of water is around 155, 160 foot, and it's coming up to 140 to 130 ish. As you can see there, that lump, that is the wreck. If I zoom back out, you can see it right there, look. I'll change the view to the full size down imaging, and you can see right there. This wreck, as far as I know, is around 300 foot long and something like, I think it's 15 meters wide maybe, something like that. This is all you will see on your down imaging or your sonar. I'll show you what it looks like on sonar now. That is all we've got on the sonar. You could easily pass that and mistake it just for a little lump. That's actually quite a big shipwreck, believe it or not. We have been fishing it. We have had a few fish off it already. So there is fish here. What we'll do, show you the setups we're using and hopefully pull out a few fish and get them on camera for you. Well, I thought I'd show you the setup I'm using. We are rocking and rolling a little bit. It is a little bit choppy, but I'll show you the setup the best that I can. What we've got, get these on eBay. It's a little plastic boom and the line goes through it. Right there, look. Hopefully you can see that okay. Then got a 10 ounce lead attached to it. As you can see, that slides on the line. Got it tied to a swivel right there. And then we've got, this is around four foot long, I'd say. Yeah, roughly a four foot long leader with a tsunami sand deal on the end of it. 
right there. This actually seems to be fishing quite good. We've tried smaller ones, white ones, all sorts. The bigger, darker looking ones seem to be pulling out the better fish. So we'll head up again, get another drift. I'll try and show you this with the fish on the end of it. sonar I want to see when we start coming up onto the wreck obviously the sonar is slightly delayed so you're actually on the wreck before the sonar says you are we might catch the end of it pal we're missing the other end of it no the end you found we're missing that we might catch the other end though it might be a good drift I've dropped to the bottom now what I'm doing is a steady retrieve just like this just keep winding, steady retrieve. If you start feeling fish pulling on it, up looking, just keep winding. And you should see the rod hoop over. It might have a few dives, and then it usually gives up when you can get it up. Yeah, we're drifting past. This drift now, about this drop. steady retrieve and you're just waiting for them plucks that's a fish right there now plucking at it just keep winding you could slow the retrieve down slightly if you want to there we go look he's just slammed it now he's on Look at that, he's diving hard. Don't feel very big, but fish is a fish. Get this fish up now, I'll give you a look at it hopefully. He's having another bit of a kick there. It's a small one, but it's a pollock, it's the target. Right there, look. With that tsunami sticking out of his mouth. I'll show him your one. What I'll do, I'll show you Mark's fish. Mark's has landed a better one now. So I'll get it on the camera with a lure in the mouth, give you a look at it. Well, Mark's just had one there on the crazy sand eel, as you can see. Aye. Go crazy sand eel. One of those. Got a rattle in it as well, I think. <laughs> There's the fish, nice pollock. Probably make a couple of pounds, maybe a little bit more, two and a half, maybe. But, see if we can get you a bigger one now. Yeah, right. Ah, he's come off. Huh? 
after all that. This is the line for better fish. One of, not one of the tiny, tiny ones. No. Fucked oh, in the head. The head. <laughs> it felt bigger than it was because it's hooked in the head. But it's not a bad fish. Wouldn't it, wouldn't it be bigger though? Well, drifting this wreck, coming off the back of it just now. Mark's hooked up. We'll see how big it is when it gets in. We've had a few pollock, but just trying to work this wreck out. It's all brand new to us. But yes, there's a few pollock down there that we can keep in. And Mark's bringing this fish in right now. Yeah, it don't feel that bad. We'll see in a second, hopefully. Coming up now, see a bit of colour. That's more like it, pal. That's a belt on it. That's a wicked fish. Look at that. I'll let him get this one in. I was a bit worried because I got a knot in my lead in my uh, leader. Yeah, that's more like it. That's a proper fish, pal. That's a little sound like I'll let you hold it up for the camera. Look at that, that's what you call a fish. Yeah, sort of, yeah, six, something like that, maybe. We are moving fast. I know we are. Fish on! You got fish on? Yeah, I'm seeing them hitting it, they're just not taking it to the Not a bad one? Yeah, not at all. It's a little bit bigger. Right there in the sun. Nice little pollock. Mark's bringing one up now. Not sure how big it is. It's not a big one. But he's got one on the way. It's not yeah. a big one. There we go. Well, that's the end. As you see, it's a little bit of a short video. There's not a lot of info in there. There's not a lot of fish being caught in there. There is going to be another video again soon. Might be a couple of months maybe. But we will definitely get back out there and we will fish that wreck again. And I will get a better video on it. I hope you enjoyed the video. And I'll see you in the next one.